Hello everybody, and nice of you to tune in here again. Uh, here we sit again, and this time we are the full band, and we're gonna listen to another album and talk about some stories connected to very old times, because now we're going way back in time. We're really going to the beginning of where everything this came from at some point. So, yeah, some of these songs were actually written in the 90s. Ooh. Oh, uh, 90s. Are you man? sure it wasn't the 70s? <laughs> fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Ah. And it's the this one that we're going to listen to now. Uh, it's the only album that we don't have historical lyrics. Yep. This is before we started. This is a pre-history edition of Sabaton. Ancient history. Ancient history. Here we just sing about other stuff. Yeah, uh, beer and... Uh, Whatever. Stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, more bears. More bears. I think it's Yeah, we should just get going and not keep you guys waiting too long. Yeah. Because I think uh, it's time to crack up a few beers. Yeah. Yes. Get ready oh, yeah. to listen to some heavy metal. Yeah. Who wants a beer? Eins, zwei, drei. Bro, bro, bro. Everybody. Perfect. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Tommy is the, the beer, beer master. master, and you are the vinyl beer. master. Uh, 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 from last time, uh, I was the Thank fucking you, Beer Meister. Christopher, yes, sir. And one ah. for me. Oh. And uh, should have the, the brush. Donkero. I didn't know we had that. Yeah. One for him. You, want, as you well. want one? Wow. Later. I oh, okay, it. later. I want it. Uh, maybe we should. I have the ring. Let's open it. Uh, Are you ready? Oh yeah. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Okay. Anticlimax. We're listening to, uh, obviously, as some of you, or most of you, I hope, understand, this is the Metalizer album. Yep. It is our third album we released, but it's actually the first we recorded. Yes. Yeah, and... Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, yeah. But we always... There's always a little bit of confusion that some people think that this is the debut album Sabaton, but it's not. The debut album was Primo Victoria. That could was have been. <laughs> it, this could have been the debut should album. Have should have been. It was <laughs> recorded been. with the intention of being, but it never came out. And um, what, uh, what what year did you record it? 2001, I think, or 2000. Mm. And where did you record it? Uh, Studio Abyss, actually. Oh, Tommy, oh, okay. Tommy, yeah. Tommy. Yeah. Peter's <coughs> brother did it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, 2001. Yeah. 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 I think so, at least. Yeah. I think it was recorded in 2001. But hmm? I think it's in the liner notes, if you want to know. Yep. Check it out. And, the, it's in there. And, and the artwork here is the second artwork. There, uh, the, there was another one that was commissioned first, but uh, when the album was released on, uh, uh, on S uh, Black Lodge, a yep. long time later, the, the commissioned artwork didn't follow. It was only the master tape. Yep. Mm -hmm. So but Why did you name it Met Metalizer? Because it was the coolest song on the album. Oh. <laughs> it was the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> and why did you name that song? Because <laughs> it was the coolest song we had written. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Fair enough. No, and the coolest enough. title. Yeah. Well, I think. Yeah, Whoa. but what was it as simple as that? No. Which it usually was back then. I mean. Well, the back then, <laughs> as in what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you were saying what exactly? The first albums. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the first time we played Metalizer, there was not even lyrics written for it. Yeah, uh, we had the chorus. chorus. <laughs> which is just metal. <laughs> the rest is improvised. Metal. So which is fair. also what we did the first time we played Nuclear Attack. Ah. We had only the chorus and then the yeah. rest was improvised. Ah. Yeah. As ah. we did back in the days. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It was a bit easier. With well, to be fair, recording. less people cared and was less pressure. Yeah, but you, <laughs> you, I think that you as a musician didn't care. You cared, but I speak of myself now, you know, there. Yeah, it's a cool title. Done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't overthink or analyze too much it was just a cool name yeah, of yeah absolutely often i mean yeah actually there's a uh, there's a good story why you have this artwork i think so i don't remember but yeah. i remember there's a story yeah. why I know. this was supposed to go to another band right this artwork well it would have been i mean we we took it which band but i don't know which band no but we just took it it was uh, oh, when yeah. we was working with uh, matthias norian Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, he made uh, Prima Victoria and... Uh, Atero. Uh, and uh, at the same time, that's when uh, Black Lodge, our current label, they uh, acquired the rights or to label this at one. the time. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the label at the time. They acquired uh, the rights for it and uh, they quickly required an artwork. And mm. there was... Uh, we had to buy a commissioned one from, from Matthias Norea. Mm. Yep. And this was uh, a ready one. 
that he was about to give to some other band. Yeah, they were supposed to go to another band. I can't remember which one, but uh, yeah. But we we, we, we we took it. We took <laughs> it. And <laughs> now <laughs> let's play the yeah, album. Let's play it. So people have without been further ado, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, start. let's start with Hellrider, and then we go into Thunder Gods, and then yeah, we do we two songs. Yeah, two songs, and then we yeah yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Thirty-three or forty-five. <laughs> forty-five. <laughs> forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's have some fun.
Nice. Very good, very good. Very nice. Nice. Start yep. very well. I actually like that Thunder Gods. Uh, I, I think we should play it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I really, I really I like enjoy it. I really it. like it too, actually. Yeah. yeah. And you were saying in a, in a higher uh, register. Higher yeah, yeah there, there is. I didn't even re realize until you commented on it. Yeah. Mm. But it's weird to listen to this, if I'm mm. honest. Because, yeah, this is n by not by any means representative where Sabaton is right now. Mm. But back in these days, I was pretty much the only one writing music for the band. Mm. Uh, thank God it's not like that anymore. But um, <laughs> I can still, in these songs, because I haven't heard these in ages, hear certain elements where I'm coming from. Yeah. And certain things that I would still use today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like uh, the verses on Thunder Gods. Mm -hmm. Have it straight. And then you go. You add the syncopation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still use that. Yeah. Yeah. And stuff like that. And one thing I never realized before is Hellrider. Mm. Engines are running, our blood uh, burns like oil. Head one by one down the highway. That head one by one down the highway. I now immediately connect that to Ram It Down with Judas Priest. Yeah. Oh 52 yeah, thousands yeah, of, of cars and a million and guitars. And screaming with and power and in the air. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. But, but you guys who, who recorded this album, do you get do you get a good feeling listening to it or wh what is your yeah and i th i think it was i mean okay what is the we, feeling we for you guys to listen to it I I memories but i'm not i'm not super proud of how it sounds like but not because of the sound engineers but because we weren't good enough as yeah. songwriters yeah. as yeah. musicians as singers whatever yeah. it was as it is and we haven't yeah. hadn't found our sound yet yeah but there are small things then I can be proud of. Yeah. Maybe not the whole album in itself, yeah. but it is a part of our history. I'm not ashamed of it by no, any no means. No, no, I didn't mean that. I mean, but meant that general feeling, like, oh, fuck yeah, I remember that, or... Yeah, uh, I mean, the, 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 like the Thunder Gods, uh, we basically never played, because it was the last song written, I think, before we basically, mm -hmm. for that one, and uh, that's, uh, that's... This album was then never released. Yeah, and then after the, the Thunder Gods was basically recorded, the band didn't get any shows. We went into kind of a hibernation period because we didn't get the albums out or nothing was working for us. So and that's Prima Victoria yeah. came out. And then we yeah. started to write some new stuff and then suddenly Prima Victoria, Pulse Battalion and uh, then we did our theater dominatus. This yeah. one came out in two thousand seven. It already felt like old music. Yeah, I can imagine. Because we that. already had the military history theme. These songs weren't really relevant then. Yeah. So yeah. lifting up one of those. So I don't think we ever played Thunder God's Life. No. But it's actually if there was one song I would like personally to play from this album. That would be one of them. Yeah. yeah. But we did record a music video for it, which nobody has ever seen. Thank fucking God for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only the guys who are sitting in, uh, uh, except us in this room, uh, the guys who are filming this, they, uh, well, at least one of them uh, saw it because he filmed it. Mm. So oh. uh, and, and the uh, police officers and the police officers who interrupted us, they have also seen it. <laughs> oh. And uh, <laughs> almost we say yeah, that's a juicy uh, story. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, the, it never was uh, put together because the album. I mean, we recorded it and it never really came out, so we never finished the video. Nope. Okay. So Didn't make much sense, really. Yeah. yeah and uh, by the time we could have finished it, we were already on Prima Victoria and stuff. And we had a new member as well. Yes. By the time this came out, we had Daniel Mir on this. But do you still uh, have access to the footage? Uh, uh, no, we have to no, ask him. <laughs> no? Are you sh no? R Richard, it we don't, right? Yeah, we do. No. Hey! <laughs> 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 Wrong so answer. on the next live stream. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. 
Yep. Should we move on, maybe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's uh, yeah. see what's next. Oh, yeah. Mr. DJ over there. Yeah, so uh, let's go with uh, Metalizer and Shadows. Mm. Oh. Shadows is the first song written for Sampon, and this is March or May of 99. Oh, la, la. Let's see if I can do this now. So, last millennium, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> That's before I was born. Yeah. <laughs> you wish. Yeah, uh, actually, actually, now these days I do. <laughs> Shadows. 
Cool. Hey. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and uh, it's actually that song that kind of, uh, it's pretty much what landed you the gig in Sabaton. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> yeah, really. that was what he came with as a kind of a demo. And like, yeah. guys, I wrote a song. And then it's like, oh, the guy can actually write a song because we had no songs. <laughs> 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 and I think that's how it's. That's what made me the best songwriter in Sabaton. I was the only songwriter in Sabaton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we and and uh, and a funny thing, uh, to tell an, another story, uh, with this song. So when we first recorded it, it was in, uh, in the basement of a guy in his home studio. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we were just uh, gonna do a demo for a local uh, rock band competition. We weren't able to finish the whole song completely for the deadline. That, yeah, so we, but we rushed it in on a tape and uh, I mean, uh, had to run down to the and leave it in the evening at East Harbor Cafe. I remember I gave it to the guy uh, like it was half a song. Yep. And I gave it like, here you go. This is our demo. And that landed and our first gig. And that landed our first gig. And that's when uh, we got the gig, we, they said we we're playing two songs. Was, oh shit, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we only have one. <laughs> so yeah. so well, what did you do? Roll another song. Oh yeah? yeah. Which yeah. one was that? Vikings Prayer it was called. Oh okay. Yeah, but we, we won the whole music competition. Well, we didn't win it completely, but we, we made it to the finals and we made it to the second place. And then we, uh, I know we, on the final we opened with Hail to the King. Oh, maybe we did, yeah. Yeah, this I remember. And um, yeah, but uh, so that's the third song, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but one thing that strikes me 
listening to this is how hungry it sounds. Yeah. I love that with early demos or first albums of band because you can hear the will. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and the amount of retakes because I mean, to be f we weren't the best musicians. That's you know, and this is pre fixing it in the computer. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That's like. But you can hear half a day of yeah. taking, dig, 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 dig. and we yeah. didn't yeah, have money. Hear the, yeah. yeah, we had no money to record it. I mean, this was uh, we 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 had. I mean, we there was no label. There was nobody paying anything. Yeah. We there was a lot of <laughs> <laughs> on the TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, yeah. still. Yeah, I, I agree with yeah, you. But you know like what I mean? Like it's, it's there's so spirit in it. There's a lot of spirit. I, I thought of the, the same actually. It's, it's like uh, you. It's like you know. We might not be good, but we really fucking want this. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like the Hulk, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. like his clothes are gonna break, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. Nice. Well, nice to be. Uh, this go. Is actually uh, before we play the the next part here. I'm I'm getting a little bit too drunk. I was about to put the the next CD uh, side C on here. <laughs> CD. Yeah. Yeah. Vinyl. Yeah, CD, vinyl. No, side C. Uh. Not CD, side C. Dude, no more for you. Uh, it's so fun because there's a different font. Always oh, double 734 next. Uh, exactly. No, 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 it's not the next one. But Burn Your Crosses is next, but there's a different font. And why oh is that? Yeah. Does I don't know. people watching this know what? that 734 seven, is. Oh, shit. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already yeah. upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it spell down? It spells um, Sabaton. Yeah, exactly. Sabaton. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. No, because you have this old calculator when you were in, in school and everything, and then you Numbers. type 7734, and you turn it upside down. Mm -hmm. well, let's yeah. be honest, Chris, you didn't never went to school. I never went to school, no. No. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, let's yeah. go on. So, yeah, let's can, go. I, can I ask you just one, you yep. two one question? W is there a reason why? All of you are named by your last name in the booklet, but you're named by your first name. Is that a conscious choice? What? Do we have Brodin, Matelius, Mönbach? Yeah, Pan. that's yeah. true. Brodin. Maybe. <laughs> because... Everybody's like, Mönbach, yeah. Montelius, Brodin, Per. So then. <laughs> wow. Uh, I had no idea. Was, is that, is that a, by, by, by chance or...? He was better than you guys. <laughs> yeah, maybe he was. <laughs> no, I'm just cu sincerely curious. Yeah. If you I don't know, back in those days, at least I was always called by my last name or my nickname. Yeah. Okay. Nobody really called me Yuki or Yuakim back then. Yeah, but actually, I mean, all of them were always called. I was always called by my first name. Yes. And, and so was Mulbak, but. No. Oscar, Oscar was Oscar. Oscar yeah. was Oscar. Mulbak was Mulbak. Yeah, Mulbak was called uh, last name. Sundem was Sundem. Sundem was Sundem. But. And what you about was Brodem. I was Brodem. But what about. Montelius and you, that's the Yeah, Montelius was Oscar. Yeah. Clearly. Was. And I was Pa. Yeah. So it's a mi mistake by Oscar. <laughs> 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 Not Pa, <laughs> but it was <laughs> Mont <laughs> Montelius. Uh, that was the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's, that's cool. Eagle light of you. Nice yeah. notice. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's go with Burn. Should we play three songs now? Because no. it's only Or should we play two and then one? Let's do three then. Yeah, let's yeah. do three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So burn your crosses, seven, seven, three, four, and endless nights. Uh -huh. Right, mm. endless night. Yeah. Wow, that's a long time ago. Ballad. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It is love ballad. <laughs> here's, a, here's the drink back. Yeah. Thank you. You need to beer me up, man, or um, gin me. Long you. That's yours. I need another one. No, oh. it's empty. What's wrong? With you? Thank you. 
Cool. Nice. Yeah. Is any of it live recorded? Oh no, one by one, but live. One by one. Okay. How long did Oscar or Richter? I can't remember. Who was playing that joke? Who did it? Oscar. How long did you have to practice that? How long did it? That's fucking hard. That's hard to play. Yeah. The dawn finally. The sun. Right through the sky, the wheel of time begins to turn. Well, then we heard it, a divine voice out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, to our hearts and show the way.
It's nice to hear your journey as well as a, as a singer. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier too. Okay, it's very long yeah. No, no, <laughs> no. Now you sing even here, son. Here you can never do it. You're starting to hold it. Now you can make that part of the Fight to the kill. 
Wow. Nice. Oh, wow. I think that that must be the first um, Sabaton song. Uh, no, I don't. Know. I don't think so. On, no. But Steel Commander. No, uh, yeah. 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 Steel Commander faster? Yeah. No. No, I don't think so. No. This, yeah. this is faster than. Absolutely. Okay. Really? Yeah. This is really it's real fast. Yeah, absolutely, much faster. Than it's Two thousand BPM or something. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, it the first time I hear this song, actually, <laughs> it used Endless to be nights, my yeah. favorite uh, song to play live. Okay. Endless, uh, Endless nights. I, uh, I loved it when we played it live in the beginning because it was fast. It was cool. It was mm. hard. It was like it, it was so damn metal. I don't know. I loved it when we played that one live. Mm. And and uh, t looking back, also seven, uh, double seven thirty four, as we call it, that was also like uh, like Thunder Gods. It was written very late, so we never really brought it onto the shows. We were touring for a or touring. We were playing live for a couple of years. We were playing Hellrider. We were playing Metalizer Shadows. Yeah, the ones and we had before Burning already. Crosses and Endless Nights. We played them like all the time, and some more. Uh, Hill to the King, Thunderstorm, mm. Speeder, Monsters of the World. We also played a lot. Never Speeder. No, okay. Thank God we never did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna come to that later. Uh, yeah. But but we we played uh, endless nights. We played a lot of times. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, it was one of the first songs, yeah. and uh, we played it a lot. But s uh, double seven thirty four, mm. we never had it. And then again, it was the same thing. I think we played it. M we might have played it. I don't remember. But we more for sure played it more after the heroes release. Sure, release. sure. absolutely. Sure. It was not on the like the other ones. They are much uh, mm. more played, mm. but that one was really late written for for the metal. One of the last, yeah. Mm. So it was like yeah. Uh, but you can hear the time. I mean, as a composer, for me at least, that some of these songs like "Endless Nights," that is one of our the first songs I wrote. Maybe the second, third, fourth. You know, mm. double seven thirty four. That's two years. Yeah. And two years isn't much, but if you've only written three songs and then you have the next one, you've written 15 songs. Yeah. All of a sudden, that's a huge difference. Yeah. Uh, of course. Yeah. Because percentage-wise, that's a lot more experience. Mm. Yeah. I also think that I don't know how many people that are watching this know know this, but also recording. I mean, back in the day. Now we're talking 2000 still. Adats. Sorry. Adats. Yeah. Exactly. So. It might be interesting to know that it's uh, just compared to today, just in those few years, it's quite a big difference on how you record. So for Daniel then, who was drumming here, I would say he did the whole take. Yeah. This mm. it, maybe if there was a break in a song, then you, you could take it from there. Right. If there yeah. was, you know, otherwise you'd, okay, let's do the first half again. Right. Which means, as a drummer, you would have to, or, 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 or any musician, you would have to know the whole song by heart really well because when you push record you go through the whole thing yeah and that also means that sometimes you want to play it safe as a musician you know you so when you you hear this all these crazy drum fills or whatever it's really like it's it's cool because you really know where when they are supposed I to come i haven't thought about that way but yeah it takes guts then it takes fucking guts yeah because if you fuck up yeah. in the minute number three you gotta do it all. Again. You have to redo everything, mm. so you can really hear those things. Like it's, <coughs> it's ballsy stuff, you know. And also on those tempos, it's uh, it's well played. It's really well played, and it's nice to hear. And one thing I should say as well, <coughs> to this day, Tommy, who produced this album, he did Theme of Victoria, A Tear of Notice, and he also recorded the Art of War. Yeah. The, his way of am I the only one thinking he tunes the toms so well? Mm. That's nice. They sound mm. doo -doo 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 spot on. Yeah, yeah. that's good. I, I'll, I'll pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. It's like, for me, it's like, do yeah, that's a Tom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. We're going to have a Tom intro on the next song. Oh, I really? Think. What? Hell to the King. Oh. Isn't there? Yeah, maybe there is. But live, we just went. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know uh, how this is gonna sound. No, I don't remember entry. because we got three versions of this song. <laughs> you got three versions. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. We got the uh, with the drum intro. That's the best. And we have I the drum that. solo. <laughs> That's the better one. I can tell that too. <laughs> and then we have the one Which almost the nobody have ever heard. <laughs> and then we have that the track version. with only yeah. drums. <laughs> it's the best one. Beer me so up. So let's see. Boy. Let's go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. So what we are listening to now beer? is... We're gonna hear Hail to the King and Thunderstorm. Yeah. Cool.
Like, yeah, as a yeah. singer, that must be the coolest <laughs> word to sing. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, I, to make it, I had to make it a little bit more dramatic this yeah, time. Yeah. You oh. know? <laughs> it was a tease. <laughs> it's a tease. If I was a singer, which is good for everybody that I'm not, <laughs> I would sing thunder all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the ultimate word for a singer. Yeah. Especially you in Scandinavian have any lyrics? ways, thunder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can hear, you can yeah. hear the, 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 the really early stuff you were going through like udda taktarter odd measures odd taktarts odd taktarts odd time signatures old tractors old tractors udda taktarts the things you were going through it's like oh yeah. shit what yeah. happened yeah. <laughs> what the fuck did you mean what the what is yeah. that i was going through yeah. a lot of old tractors <laughs> hey, we've all been old there. Tractors. Yeah. Old, 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 tractors. old tractors. We've all been there. A lot of old oh, tractors. I don't know. I, I mean, it, it, it's pretty interesting. I, you see here, the Hail to the King started with just bam, one snare. That's our and live intro. Yeah, that was the live intro. In uh, first, we practiced that so third, hard. Third, that it's it's the golden thing. It's called symbol. The other one is the snare. This is this one. It's the loud one. <laughs> <laughs> So Sorry. we used the snare then. No, it was the Okay. Uh, and um, it was because uh, at the first, when we started, we were like, okay, everybody, Dude, everybody. It was a drum fill with toms and stuff. And then the part that was at the end, yeah. did, 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 that was also in the intro. Yeah. But and so, so, so is that intro on another recording? Yes, okay. on the demo. Face for Fight, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the thing is here, every band always had a powerful symphonic intro at this time. Mm -hmm. Everyone had. We started out with it. Well, most bands still do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then at some point we're like, screw the intro. Yeah. So we started our live shows with one snare drum. Dun, 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 and then all on. So we opened the shows with Hail to the King with one snare drum. Nice. That's it. Nice. Pa! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because every, you know. No counting, uh, no but intro. But why though? Nothing. You thought that it was cheesy to do the Everybody whole else pretentious thing yeah. or and just also to create attention back yeah. in these days um let's say we weren't playing with the big boys mm. um you would have these bands no we were oh, not we in the band yet no no, no. Yeah. some of you weren't born yet no yeah. <laughs> 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 but um most bands would have this huge pre-recorded epic intro pretentious yeah. kind of thing yeah and um, pretentious or actually great something yeah, did it. that yeah. could be good too yeah sure however when they started you didn't do big shows, you didn't have greatest gear, you weren't the best musicians, and even if you were, good luck with the PA on the smaller shows yeah, yeah. or yeah. all of that. So it sounded great, and then you, you started playing, and all of a sudden it sounded like a demo band. Yeah. yeah. And it's like a downgrade. Yeah. yeah. But still so we decided let's do it the, the other way around. Okay, that's, yeah. that's, bam, a, that's, bam, a, that's yeah. a good tip for people starting out, I think. Yeah. 
We did the same with my first band. We played O for Tuna as intro. Oh, great. Yeah. That's a bad <laughs> fucking idea. Yeah. Very bad. Especially when all your songs are sucky, yeah. you know? And especially if you play a festival and you're playing like one, one in the day or 12, maybe, yeah. noon. And then you have a super mighty mm -hmm. intro. Intro. And then you come out and it's you had bright sun. You sun. Had 20 minutes of change yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. There's no atmosphere. Half the festival crowd is hungover. Yeah. Yeah, and the only one backstage is your mom. So yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I've actually used uh, the theme to Ben Hill as an intro many times. Yeah, that gets the crowd going. They were like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. And then we start playing. They were like, ah, oh, fuck it, leave this shit. <laughs> but it's a better uh, better thing. I mean, we, we did uh, um, various things. And in the beginning, you even played a couple of the intros live on keyboard when you were actually playing keyboard. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. Well, I, I remember. One time you even played the uh, intro for the Terminator theme. That was our very first time we stand on the stage. Da -da 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 yes. -da -da. That was the first time we ever did a show. Okay. You, you actually played the Terminator intro on your keyboard. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. It, we learned something after that. Yeah. But, but that's, uh, yeah. But later, we stopped doing intros, and that's why the, 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 that one sounds like that. Mm -hmm. So can we agree okay. when we play this song, if we do, we start the show ah. yeah. the same way? Same with Ghost of Vision. Mm. <laughs> yeah, well, it kind of is the same, but, but it's a lot more snare. Yeah, exactly, yeah. This album starts with only a snare drum. Yeah. <laughs> Engines are yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Only No one intro snare. whatsoever. Pa! Yeah, I know that like bands. I know that there there was another reason that some bands did it. Like at the gates, I know they also always did a counting on the snare. Yeah, I heard bands do that too. Yeah, that's why they, he did it because it was the, the hi hat wasn't loud enough, mm. so he would count in the band on the snare. Mm. Yeah, especially on yeah, festivals, cool. you yeah. have uh, you don't have the coolest spot. You have 20 minutes changeover. Yeah. yeah, get your gear on stage, do a line check, yeah, and get ready to play. And for so those from who don't know, festivals are usually really stressful, like Joachim said, very short time and, uh, and, and, and the more time you take, the less songs you get to play. Yeah. 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 There's no leeway there. Yeah. And then to <laughs> try and fix the sound. Yeah, why would you look for a hi-hat when the guitarist is 25 meters away? Yeah. 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 So let's yeah. speed this up and uh, yep. speed yeah. it so on. Speed it up. Then. Yeah, <laughs> <Fort No, laughs> uh, but okay. we, we got the uh, two <laughs> two songs left. Yep. Okay, let's see. Speeder and Masters of the World. If All right. Nice. One good song left. Man of War. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's a Man of War cover. Always <laughs> play this one. Many times.
back. Nice. I like that one. Last one. Yeah. Last one. I think many people have heard this song. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 this one. Usually, yeah. we hear it quite music, right? Yeah. And that's the whole Metalizer yeah, album. Yeah, cool. Fantastic. And it's pretty cool. I mean, Masters of the World we used for outro more times than we ever played live. Probably, yes. And uh, well, Certainly. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty cool also to hear. That one was also late written, because you can clearly hear that your songwriting skills improved a lot 
when it came to Masters yeah. of the World. Compared yeah. to Thumb and I mean, I had it yes. for. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the band for 11 years. I had it every fucking show. It's been Master of the World. No, not every. No. Yeah. No, not no. Every. We also had no. My Heart Will Go On once. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and True. Uh, and, no, uh, <laughs> and the last tour we did. Uh, uh, yeah. Man of War and uh, oh Lost Battle, yeah, but most of them, yes. Yeah, most of them. Haven't we had Team America as well? Yes, we have. Yes. Oh, yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. We also had Stone Utah Boy. But those yeah. last shows <laughs> on the tour doesn't count because it's a that's a fuck up show. True. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But, 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 but yeah, the point I, is I, that I, you I agree with you what you uh, say. No, I didn't lie. Yeah. It's no, like ninety percent at least. Uh, yeah. Ninety-nine percent of the time, it works every, every time. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Black Panther. We have a. <laughs> it's pretty cool to check in here. I mean, yeah. what we have in here yeah. is like the tour dates of pretty much. That's not all we did in uh, 2007. That's only the headline tour and the festivals. Yeah, because before that we did 30 or 33 shows with Terry and Great Tickets. Yes. That year. <coughs> uh, but that was before Metalizer was released. That was still on the Altera Dominatus tour. True, yes. So this is on the Metalizer tour. And uh, uh, there are some interesting shows that we did on this. Here, uh, it's pretty funny to see. Portiers, the smallest show we have ever played is here. Yes, Portier. Almost no, almost no people were there. Five people playing, something like that. Uh, so that was there and... Uh, Still and a great time, so much fun. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, there, there were a lot, I mean, uh, looking down, the first ever show at Graspo. Uh, 07, eh? 06. Six. No, no, no seven, of course. And twenty second of June. Yes. Uh, but and we got really lucky. Belgium is one of the countries that was first to embrace us internationally, and I think it's fifty percent down to a lucky break because we were rigging our stuff in the tent. So one marquee tents in Graspop, those of you who've been there will know. That's still a massive tent. It'll take 10, 12,000 people. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. So these tent stages aren't small by any means. And uh, we're rigging our stuff. Not too many people there. Sure, it's a huge tent. So 1,200, 1,500, it still looks empty. Yeah. However, five minutes before, it's, um, before our show, or 10 minutes, it starts to really rain. People start to take cover. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> uh, we had a full show. <laughs> There's nice. a, uh, a couple of others. Uh, actually, um, we played this wooden tall bike meet. Yes. Okay. Outside of Frankfurt, right? Yeah. And uh, there, actually, uh, just a mm. few weeks ago. No, up, is it up in the Ruhrgebiet, maybe? I don't remember. Germany, anyway, yeah. Just a few weeks ago, a guy wrote me. And uh, he was like, ah, I went to a party with a guy. And he booked Sabaton in 2007. <laughs> and he's got the whole thing filmed. And we were watching your gig. <laughs> wow. And that's when the generator broke. So it's only half the show, you know? Because then uh, the festival ended. Hmm. Because they had no more power. And there was no more, more power is for the bars. Is that when we went into the pool and got drunk? No, there was no pool. That's when we slept in tents. And we had to take a yeah. bath in a... In a in a, uh, not a pool, but in a uh, river. Uh -huh. That's how luxurious it was by then. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep in tent and bath in a river after the show. Great. And uh, yeah, um, but that wasn't there. So some, some, some really nice. And here, the only show where Joachim wasn't present. No, no. actually that's the last show there in Liebeck Treibsand. Mm. You were sort not of, present. Sort of hippie collective. Uh, I got an option because I had a really, really bad throat infection or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, a doctor told me, because after this, this isn't the whole tour. Yeah. After this, we had Maria Stad. Yeah, we had some and, sh and shows in Sweden. Several extra shows in Sweden. And he, you got three shows left. You can only do two. The smart thing is to rest today. And that's, I think, one of the few times I've ever taken cortisone mm. to sort of heal my voice as a singer. Sometimes well, you have to. Was that time that Christian? Yes, Eriksson Christian. Did Christian did that show. Later sang in um, Twilight Force, and then North, North Tail. North Tail. Now final. Fin strike. Now final strike. Yeah. Yeah. He he did the whole show, and I mean, you you were not there, um, but when we did the Hellfest and you were bad, you at least sang three songs or something. 
two, I think it was. Yeah. No, you the first three. But you were there. Oh, you were okay. present. But this, you were most of the time. I was in the tour bus. You were, oh, you were in the tour bus. Really? So we played a show without Joachim being present in the venue. He was. I feel sorry, by the way, if <laughs> anyone was cheated, because if you don't know this, Christian has a high pitched, whoa, that kind of voice. Yeah. And if somebody thought, wow, this is a great band, I love this singer. And then. <laughs> there was a lot. <laughs> they bought the CD <laughs> and then <laughs> got me. <laughs> I mean, the, the thing was, normally Christian, the guy, was yeah. our merchandiser. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but that Are night. Vocals as well? Yeah, but that night, mm. he, he was the lead singer, so he did not want it to be the merchandiser. Yep. So I was the merchandiser that so night. <laughs> so, so, so I was standing there when, when the fans were coming and saying, yeah, it was a great show. Uh, and uh, yeah, very good. And <laughs> they wanted to buy the CD. And it's like, it's going to sound a little bit different. <laughs> 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 kind of different. Yeah, kind of different. But did he, did he do all those? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he did everything yeah, he could. Of course he uh, did. He yeah. did everything he could. Christian. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, uh, and he, he, he is a great singer with a yeah. great, powerful yeah. voice. And he yeah. used everything he could that night. Just ask every person that can sing like that <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done a show and not done <laughs> well yeah. that depends on what you define as a show <laughs> yeah. but that was karaoke night i can honestly say I uh, <laughs> 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 moving on moving on <laughs> moving on move along move along karaoke so night. yeah yeah oh that that was th there's a lot of yeah, stuff yeah. with this but anyway yeah yeah uh that's Metalizer, I guess. That's yeah. Metalizer. Are we happy yeah. with this one? Everybody yeah. uh, like yeah, yeah, enjoyed it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was so much what? power metal. Yeah. Uh, I got yeah, so yeah. happy. Some yeah. of the songs like straight to the heart, man. Mm. Well, thanks for joining us. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, for, thanks for watching. Let's do this again. Yep. And yes. Yeah. Sign it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Uh, I ran away and uh, ran away. I was yeah. about to ask you, can you go and get a pen so uh, we can sign that? Yeah, because really somebody great. of you will have it. I'm going to steal it. The album or the pen? Uh, no, the <laughs> pen, of course. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, oh, okay. hope you guys had a great night. Yep. Continue partying. Yeah. Uh, like we're going to do. Yeah, yeah we're going to do that. We're actually do not that. having a show. Yep. Have you tried this before? Try it. It's great. <laughs> it is. Mm. I think it was invented Sport. invented for the Olympics Olympics back back way back in the day huh. in uh, Finland. Helsinki was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think it's fifties or sixties or something. Yeah. But we're not gonna promote yeah, of course. Long Kero. Yeah. No. We're gonna play the album no, again, we'll but we will not gonna promote heavy yeah. metal. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. There you go guys. There we go guys. By the way, since it's on YouTube, no affiliation, no yeah. sponsorship. We just like it. We just drink it. And this is the great stuff. Cheers! 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 Bye! Bye bye! Bye bye!